Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord and finally we're getting around to the second episode of me recreating Pokemon Brick Bronze as a Game Boy game. And uh, what is really cool, since I actually done the last episode, I actually downloaded a program where I can make this a working ROM hack. That is right, I can play this game on my Game Boy, and uh, right now on screen you will actually see that we have right here uh, Mrs. Town, and it looks a little bit different from when I started the first episode. That is because I had to kind of recreate it in this new program. But look, guys, look how cool this is. If I just press play on this, right, really quickly, really quickly, uh, we can actually go, and we we are in, we're in right now. Look at this. We're in Pokemon Brick Bronze, right? Okay, so I'm gonna start it. I actually kind of went a little bit further than I was meant to, but right here we have the professor's house. Then when we go down this way, we have our house. Then we have the little uh, kind of like the little bridge leading onto Route One, which is pretty cool. And then we also have the little cave area. You know the little cave on the little like kind of water part. We have this house here and. It's pretty much working. We can walk around and yes, I will eventually be able to add in Pokemon to this game where you can encounter the Pokemon. This is the kind of little rock area where you first meet your mother and father. I know it looks a little bit different, but I am very limited in the kind of tools and kind of sprites I can use in this game, but still looks pretty cool. Looks kind of like the game, I guess. And uh, yeah, today we are going to be kind of developing, 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 we're going to be developing Route 1, Route 1 in Pokemon Brick Bronze GBA. I think this is GBA anyway, I'm not too sure. Uh, but what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go to Route 1. As you can see, I've kind of already mapped it out on what it looks like. I kind of just need to add in all of the trees and all that kind of stuff now. And then I guess we can just kind of go from there, I guess. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure is. Um, okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we've already added in our little Gratch Pass right here. What we're going to do now is add in some trees, I'm thinking. We should just go and grab some trees, some little trees. Uh, and I haven't used this in a while, so I kind of forgot how to use it. Oh god, I forgot how to use it, didn't I? Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot how to use it. I... I forgot how to use the program! Because it's been a while. There you go. There you go. Okay, so we got this now, bros. We got this. So then we're going to add in, let's see, this one right here and this one right here. So we've got three trees right to the top. Uh, what I'm going to do is also add in another one of these little bad boys right there just to kind of make it all kind of, you know, kind of mishy a little bit good. Uh, and then we're going to add another one up in this corner right here. Maybe, you know what? You know what, we're gonna add two or three. I know there's not two or three in the actual Pokemon Brick Bronze game, but still, we're gonna do it anyway. And then we're gonna add in a couple here, so let's see, just add one, and then two. And then I guess we can add in, let's see, oh god no, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't seem right. Okay, that doesn't seem right. Uh, wait there, so one, uh, two, and then, uh, oh no, oh no. This is where it kind of gets very difficult, guys. This is a, it's a very difficult tool. I'm not gonna lie. It's a pretty difficult tool to use. Um, because I'm just pretty much a noob. I guess that's the reason why. So we're gonna add two trees right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another one. Another one. Another one. We're gonna add another one. Okay, we're gonna add two like that. I know that looks kind of weird right there, but uh, still, let's, let's just do it anyway. And then we're gonna continue adding these along the way right here uh, and then let's see we're gonna grab one of these bad boys i'm gonna throw that in right there throw that in right there and then of course this is the little area where you can kind of sneak okay no this just doesn't look right okay there you go uh, so we're gonna add th those two right there and then what we need to do is we need to find the tree that you can cut because uh, there's actually a place that you can use cut down here so i believe i believe it's is it this one is that the cut tree? I don't think it is. No, this is the cut tree. How weird is it that this is the cut tree? So, yeah, kind of strange, but we're going to add two cut trees right there. Looks really weird, I know. Let's just go with it. It's Pokemon. It's weird. It's okay. Don't worry about it, guys. And, um, let's see. Then, I'm pretty sure in this little area, there's like a Pokeball. 
so we're gonna add it right there i guess no let's let's not let's uh let's first just add in all of the scenery first i guess uh, so yeah guys if you do want to continue seeing this little series on this channel I would very much appreciate like a like on the video, just kind of some knowledge as to what you guys want to see um, and you know that you guys want me to continue doing this, I guess, uh, because this is a pretty cool thing I'm doing right here. I, I, I guess like it's very unique. That's the thing, I think. Right, okay, so we're going to add one there and then one, no, no, okay, right, we add you to the second layer like that and then we add this one to the third layer. That's the thing. That's the thing that we need to do right here. So let's see. So we add it right there and then no, no, no. But now what we're going to do is I'm going to add in some encounterable grass. So this grass, you can actually get encounters in it. Uh, so let's just add one here. Let's see. Go a couple there, 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 there. Uh, it's kind of join this together because I know it's kind of blocky down here. Um, let's see. And then do it on layer one. Let's add a couple behind there. Uh, and then, yeah, I think that looks kind of sweet, right? Let's maybe, maybe add like two bits here because like, you know, people can just kind of go past and not encounter or something. We don't want that. Uh, now what I'm going to do is just add in a basic bit of grass over here. Let's see, there you go, like so. And uh, some over here, because, you know, it's Pokemon. They have grass in weird places, guys. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's actually uh, some grass along this little kind of stretch of things right here. So let's just kind of... There you go. That look okay? Yeah, that looks pretty cool, right? I mean, wow, we've made a Pokemon game! This is pretty awesome. Now, like I said... We can actually go around and put in these little bits now. So let's see. Let's just put a little bit of grass right here. Maybe some some little little tiny little things right there. Oh god, no! What's going on there? What's going on, sir? Uh, oh yeah, there you go. Okay, maybe some there, and maybe one there and one there. Okay, that looks pretty sweet right there. I like it. I really like this, guys. I hope that you like it too. This is pretty fun and exciting to do. It really is. It's so cool. I never thought I'd be doing this in a million years. Um, and then we need, of course, a little Pokeball down here because this kind of like a secret Pokeball. So I guess we just put it there, maybe? Yeah, I mean, that looks kind of okay. We will program these Pokeballs to actually pick up what you find in Pokemon Brick Bonds too. Uh, hopefully one day, if this project continues on forward. I don't really know if it will, but it's pretty cool to make a little series of it right now anyway. This could be problematic, maybe. Um. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's this one. Is that right? Wait, what? This looks very confusing. Okay, so it's like that. Wait, where's the... What is going on? What is this? Um. Okay. I guess I just copy and paste these two. Right, so like, let's see. So for example, we grab this bad boy right here. We throw it on number three. So we're going to add it right there. Yeah. Okay. Then we just kind of add this along the top. Like so. Uh, we've already got that. And then we kind of just continue it. Is that? No, wait. We kind of just copy this. So, wait, what? Okay. No! Oh, okay, there you go. Okay, much sense now. Much, much, much sense. Okay, so there you go. And then we add in that final little bit, which is... No. Then we add in the final little bit, which is there. No. There. There you go. Right? This is very confusing. I didn't really expect this. Um, whew, is it hot in here or is it just me? I'm sweating right now because I'm panicking because I'm like, I didn't expect these root extenders to be that difficult to actually uh, kind of work with. Uh, right, what we're going to try and do now is just add in, I guess, let's see, can I just add in a couple? No, okay, I've messed this up a little bit right here, but it's okay. I guess what we will have to do is we will have to go to... Uh, I don't know. I forgot. I need to cut off this little edgy part here. And yeah, 
How do I do it? I guess I just kind of do one of these. Let's see, where are you? Uh, so we're gonna add in uh, one of these bad boys right here. Let's see, so add it to the top layer. Okay, there you go. And then add that into the second layer. There you go. Okay, okay, we're fine now, guys. We're fine. There you go. You see that? There you go. We kind of just fixed it in a couple of seconds right there. Okay, so here's Mitz's town. And now what we're going to do is go uh, F5 again. We're going to add a map to a canvas. I hope that is how you say it. Okay, so A, add the map. And then there you go. So we go to route one. There you go. And then we press C. And now what's really cool is we can actually click and kind of like match these two up. So I think that's perfect there. Is that perfect? Let's see. Uh, save changes. Yes. Exit from the editor. Yes. Watch this, guys. Right here. So here we are right in our little game. Here's our little dude right here. He doesn't have running shoes yet. I will add that in. Uh, but if we just go up now to the little uh, kind of area where we would normally uh, uh, like kind of encounter Pokemon for the first time. Boom. There you go. Oh, my God. And we have Route 1 in our game. I don't know whether this grass is encounterable right now, but look at that, guys. We have Route 1 in our game. We have it in our game. That is so cool. Can we go in this? No, we can't because we haven't programmed it yet. But we will eventually, guys. We will eventually program this into our game. So let's just kind of have a little looksy round here. Oh, yes. Perfect. And you can't see exactly what's back there, which is really cool, too. So, you know, kind of keeps the people like, what is back there? What is that? And you can kind of go in here. Maybe I should add like a secret item. Maybe like a potion, like an invisible potion or something like that. You know when the Pokeballs are like invisible or something? I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is really awesome, guys. I'm glad that I'm able to actually do a series like this on my channel. It's very unique, very cool. Um, everything just seems fine. Can I jump over these? Oh, you can jump over them. They're automatically like kind of done. And it has a weird jumpy noise. Wait, can we glitch here? No? Okay. I wonder if anyone could glitch my game. That'd be pretty cool, actually, if they could. That'd be so cool. What we're going to do, I think, in the next one, guys, is we're going to go and move on to, uh, I think it's Chesma City or Chesma Town, I guess. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be super fun. I kind of just wanted to make this episode a little bit of a small one because I forgot that I, like, started recording me doing all of the outside and everything of this like the, the the layout of the route which was kind of annoying after i found out uh, but still very cool i hope that you're all excited for this kind of uh, series because i've now found out how to make it an official rom hack of pokemon brick bronze which is super mind-blowing it's very cool guys uh, so anyway if you did enjoy this series guys don't forget to leave a like and uh, tell me in the comment section below if i should add in that little secret that i kind of pokeball down here that'd be pretty cool if you could just find like a potion or something i don't really know guys thank you very much for watching i hope you have an awesome day and until next time i've been star lord oh, see you